this three phase motor I have now, I want to make starter for this. The condition to turn on or off this motor is if I press this foot switch once, motor will be turned on and if I want to turn off the motor, then again press the foot switch. Means on pressing this once, motor turns on and on again pressing switch, motor turns off. As I told you in the starting that I want to start and stop this three phase motor and you also know that if we want to turn on or off any three phase motor, we use contactor. So here I have this contactor. Apart from this, to turn on this contactor, I am going to use this foot switch. Normally what happens is, till the time we press foot switch, contactor remain on and on releasing switch, contactor turns off. But here condition is different. With this foot switch, we have to turn on the contactor and by again pressing this, we have to turn off the contactor. For this whole work, we need to use a pulse relay. This device which you can see here is known as pulse relay. What is the work of pulse relay is, when this relay receives even a small pulse signal, then it will change the contact. This means we can say that if we provide pulse signal only once for providing signal, we will use this foot switch. When we press this once, this relay will turn on and on again pressing switch, this relay will turn off. By using this relay, we are going to turn on and off this contactor. First look at this MCB. The point at which we receive phase supply in MCB connect a wire at that point. The power supply from here will go to foot switch. We have to provide phase supply to foot switch. You can do the controlling of neutral supply also. Right now I am only doing the controlling of phase supply. You can see total three wires are given in foot switch. One is common, one NO and one is NC. Condition of this starter is if we press the foot switch, signal must be generated. For this, we have to use NO contact. To identify, use this multimeter. Set the multimeter in continuity position. After that, connect the probes of multimeter. Right now, no beep sound is generating. If I press this, you can hear the beep sound clearly. On releasing this, it gets off. If I press again, beep sound is coming. Means we have to use these two contacts for turning on the relay. To this foot switch, at this common terminal, we will connect this wire. At this NO contact terminal, connect a wire. I connected the wire here. The power supply from this wire will be used to turn on this relay. So at event terminal of this relay, here is the event terminal, connect the wire with this terminal in this way. Now at this A2 terminal of relay, I have to provide neutral power supply. From a terminal of MCB, connect a wire and other end of wire will be connected to A2 terminal of relay. Connections to turn on this relay is completed. Now connections to turn on this contactor is to be performed. For this, what I will do is, in this relay, if you look at the NO contact, you can see two NO contacts are there and two NC contact symbols are there. So through NO contact of relay, we will do the connections with this contactor to turn on the contactor. At this MCB, where we connected neutral power supply, connect another wire at the same point and other end of wire is to be connected with NO contact of the relay. You can see I connected this wire with the 4 number terminal of relay. To the second NO contact of relay, I am connecting a wire with the MCB. Means I provided the phase supply. At the input terminal of this relay, we provided input power supply. When this relay is turned on, through output terminals it will supply the power. At the NO contact, I will connect the phase supply wire and other end of wire is to be connected to A1 terminal of contactor. You can see here, here is the A1 terminal of contactor where I provided phase supply. Similarly, at the other NO contact where we connected neutral power supply, connect one wire at the output terminal here. From this wire, we receive neutral supply, so connect other end of wire with A2 terminal of contactor. Control wiring to turn on and off this starter is completed. Other than this, to turn on or off this motor, we need to do the power wiring. I directly performed the power wiring. What you have to do is simply bring the three phase supply and connect with the power terminals of contactor. After that, in motor cable, you will find three wires. Connect these three wires with the output power terminals of contactor. Only this much connection is required. Now when I turn on this MCB and press this switch, you can see motor is turned on. If I want to stop the motor, then simply again press this switch. 
you can see contactor is turned off. Look once again. On pressing foot switch, motor gets started and on again pressing foot switch, motor turned off. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.